Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to block sand primer to get that perfect finish. These are going to be the materials that I'm going to be using. This is the only materials that I'm going to be using hey bear, to block sand this primer. Okay, This primer has been drying for about a week so it's nice and cured. Hey Lucy. But um, let me show them to you. Alright, I have a round block. I have a 6 inch block and a 17 inch block. I also have a 320 grit sandpaper, 220 grit sandpaper, and a roll of uh, 180 grit sandpaper. I'm also going to use the DA with an interface pad and some maroon scotch bright. That is it. That is all I'm going to need to get this car the way it's supposed to in order for me to get that perfect paint job. Let's start off with the 17 inch stirrup block with 180 grit sandpaper. Guys, I forgot what I did. I just applied some black primer and all over the car so that I can get a guide coat. That's all I did. I just applied it and uh, it's ready. Now, all I'm looking for is for all these little marks, these little black marks, to disappear. Okay, once they disappear, I leave that area. I leave it alone. I continue and continue until I do the entire car like this. If you saw I was going in a cross pattern motion that's the only way you can get the perfect uh, finish on this primer to get the perfect paint job. Okay let me continue so that you can see. There it is, it's coming out real nice. Now, this car has a little contour here that uh, that's where the round block comes in. You cannot do it with the with this block. You're gonna leave straight edges and it's not gonna look good. So you need the round block in order to sand these areas, okay? The way it's supposed to. If not, you ain't gonna get it the way it's supposed to. Let me Let me show you. There it is, it's going. I still have some uh, uh, black primer showing here, which I need to eliminate. But that's the way you do it. Now, you can feel it. You can feel the little rounded area, which is perfect. Now, for these little areas right here, I don't want to use this one. I'll go ahead and use the 6 inch right here, the 6 inch. That'll help me with these areas. And I'm not going to cross all the way over here. I'm just going to cross to where I finished up with the rounded area. Let me demonstrate.
there it is and I didn't disturb anything of the rounded area okay so like I mentioned I still have some little black uh, primer showing that I need to refine but that's the way it is that's the way it works now I'm gonna continue uh, with the entire car also in these areas right here you're gonna have to use a rounded uh, block you have to measure yourself or you have to uh, figure out where you're gonna need the small ones and where you're gonna need the round ones and all that like the small ones I can use it here because it's not too big of an area okay now the bigger areas I can use the bigger blocks that is it that is it that is there's no science behind it now I'm only using 180 right now I am only using 180 I haven't gone to the other grits which uh, I'll show you next let me just sand the entire side and uh, bring you back when I'm gonna the next process that's needed all right guys everything has been block sanded with 180 right there now I have this line I didn't sand this with the blocks why because it's rounded I don't want to create a different style line that it has so I'm gonna get myself 220 220 grit sandpaper and I'm gonna do it by hand okay let me show you There it is nice and smooth now I did cut a little bit right there which is not that bad now if I would have used 180 I would have cut all the, all this area but that's not bad I'll just put some uh, self etching primer before I paint but um, there it is now I got to continue with the rest of the the corners and finish it up all right now that everything has been sanded now I'm gonna get 220 grit with the DA with the interface pad that's next now I'm gonna start doing it with the DA the entire area is gonna be sanded with the DA in a slow speed now before you start asking me a question that can I start sanding with 180 with the DA instead of the blocks yes yes you can the thing is that you need to be real careful real careful because if you don't manage the DA correctly you're gonna end up with waves on your body panel that's one of the reasons you use blocks so you don't end up with waves but you you can you can use it I've done it before but uh, you need to be real careful Now you can see the way I'm doing it the DA is not in full speed so I'm just going up and down up and down and I'm gonna be going side to side okay in a slow speed you can hear the the rotation it's slower than the normal now I'm not gonna do the, the DA with here and the curved areas I'm gonna do it by hand with 220 also everything that's curved or everything that's cornered I'm gonna do it by hand exactly how I did it 
with the blocks okay in this area I'm just gonna get it by hand start doing it by hand this area I can use the block and uh, so forth okay let me let me start sanding it with the DA so you can see There it is. I sanded it with 220 with the DA and I came back and I sanded it with 320 with the DA. Now what I do in order to see my work I get quick check. I don't know if you guys have seen this. I've shown it before. This is what I use to see my work and to see if I need some more sanding. Let me show you how this thing works. Now what I do, I look down the side. This is gonna give you like if it had clear coat. I look down the side and I can see that the bodywork is perfect. Excellent. And that is how I use that. Now if I need a little bit more sanding, more refining, well, I'll sand where I need to. Right now that you checked, everything was correct. I'm gonna get the maroon scotch bright and start sanding all the areas that the DA or the blocks did not uh, reach. Like all these little areas, I'll just sand them down. All these little crevices right here, uh, all I do is just sand them down. All these, you're gonna, you can do it by hand. Just sand all these little rails and these little crevices. And you'll be good. You'll be done. And this will be it, guys. This will be it for this video. That's how I block sand. Uh, my primer to get everything perfect the way it's supposed to now if you cut through some areas right here I'm still gonna I'll get some uh, Self-etching primer put some uh, spray some self self-etching primer there before painting and I'm good I'm good to go. I cut here, too So there's little things that you're gonna you're gonna notice when you're sanding, but those are gonna be uh, fixed real easy but the body's perfect, the body's straight. Now I gotta do is finish up the, the rest of the body. The other side's already sanded. Gotta sand the, the top and the car will be done to paint. We can start painting it. And there it is, this will be it for this video. I make these videos short and to the point. Hope you like those kind of videos, but this is the way it is. This is the way I do it to sand primer. Hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned something. And I'll see you this coming weekend, which is going to be the painting of the car. All right, guys, thank you very much. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, 
hit the little bell icon so you can be notified whenever I upload a video hit that thumbs up it helps a lot and guys thank you and I'll see you this coming weekend like always God bless